Hi there guys, it's Jack from JMC, here with RK Vodka, and also joined by Hart from Mixman. We were having a little think of kind of classic drinks that maybe do a little bit of a spin on. We come up with a Cosmo. So we're both gonna do our take, yep. talk about them, show them to each other, show them to you. I hope it will go well. Yeah. So you can kick off. I'll start off. So we're gonna go with good 40 mil shot of vodka. I'll build all mine and then like let you build yours yep. and then we'll sort of shake them all up and serve them at the same time. That way we're not going to be fighting over ingredients. Okay. We're then going to go for about 20 mil of lime juice. And about 15 orange liqueur. You can play around with which kind you use. Triple sec, Cointro, Curacao, they all do similar things. And then I've got a homemade cranberry and sage syrup, because Christmas is coming up and you know, keep those flavors in there. So we're gonna go about 20. So cranberry and sage syrup. Cranberry and sage syrup. So yeah, make it at home, similar to kind of making simple oh, syrup. That'll smell. Oh, that smells gorgeous, yeah. It filled the kitchen with, <laughs> with all that sagey smells. And then a nice little dash of orange bitters to bring that around. Lovely. So, do you want to talk through yours a little bit? Yeah, so I've also got a spin on a, a Christmas Cosmo. Um, what we're going to do, so we've got a, looking at about 35ml of the RK vodka. And we'll put that into, into the shaker. About 10, just a bit more, 10 mil of lime juice as well. And the other ingredient I'm looking to use is a, a cranberry uh, sauce with a bit of port. Oh, lovely! So, just that's the little spin, nice big heaped tea, teaspoon of that, maybe a little bit extra for luck. Uh, that's always my mantra of making drinks <laughs> a little bit extra for luck. I can't go wrong. I've got a splash of a, a cranberry uh, juice, probably just go 10 mil of that as well. Bit of orange bitters, uh, just to add the, the orangeness up. And we'll crack some ice in there. Lovely. I'll shake it at the same time, I'll have a shake yeah. it. Okay. Over. Thank you. A little bit of sugar syrup as well, probably about five mil of that. So let's get going. Right, Oh, it's a lovely little colour. Yeah, and what we're going to do is just, just top it up with a bit of a clementine tonic as well. Oh, beautiful. So you could, you could either use a clementine tonic or a bit of clementine juice if you want a bit more juicier, but okay. we'll, just, we'll just cut, cut through the, uh, the flavours a bit more. So I was going to go about 15 minutes on that. And there we have it. Beautiful. Again, seeing as this is sort of almost like a, a tiki Cosmo, we're going to go a nice sort of big orange and sage garnish. And then let's finish with a little bit of flamed orange zest. Over the drink. Lovely. Beautiful. So, do we have names for these? Um, 
I haven't got a name at the moment. I'm not good with my names. Yeah, so uh, can if someone wants to come up with a name, yeah. send me an idea. Send me yours. See that goes. It's my line bias, but I like that. <laughs> That's actually quite nice as well. I would say that then. Oh yeah, that's lovely. And yeah, you're right, sort of the tonic sort of cuts through it nicely, kind of just lengthens it a little bit. You're not um, too sort of sweet from the, the cranberry sauce going in. I yeah, if I pick up the herbal, the, the herbal sort of notes of the sage, and this as well, yeah. there's still quite the orange flavours coming through, so quite yeah. interesting. Lovely. Really interesting taste. Thank you.